Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to a video on the 1.7 snapshot. But before we get started, I just want to explain a couple of things. Uh, basically, the next few videos coming out on the channel, um, they might be just me or just George, right? as in not two of us at once, because we've both moved into uni, we're both in, we're both in different unis as well, which makes it pretty difficult to actually record together. Um, and also actually to play the game, we've been busy with freshers and stuff like that in, in, in you know, uni stuff. Um, but we'll get back to it in a couple of weeks time. Until then, it's going to be just solo videos probably. And yeah, so when the 1.7 snapshot came out, I didn't really have much time to play on it. But in the time that I had, um, I came up with a little idea. Um, I'm sure it's probably already been done by others. But this is the first thing I built and the first thing I thought of when it came out. And it's kind of like making your own spawns like iron golems and snow golems. In this case, I've just done a giant zombie. Oops. That and then you whack on the head, and then it spawns into a zombie like that. Um, so if you just get rid of him, uh, the one. there we go. So the way this works is it uses the new test for block command over here. Um, so here we've got a line of command blocks, these are all testing for um, test for block, then an x coordinate, a y coordinate, a z coordinate, then the block ID 35, which is cloth, and then the data value, which is 11, because the data value for um, dark blue wool is 11 so this um, that one does like the dark blue one this one does the cyan one these two both do the green um, on the side the hands and then this fi one final is block 86 which is a pumpkin so if I come back up here again and I place down this block then that first one passes because there's the blue block there and this turns off and what this is is basically just a massive and gate um, it'll only trigger once they've all been placed so if I place um, the cyan wool down this also ticks off, which turns off this torch, and then once they're all down, so if I put on the two arms like that, four of them are triggered. When I do the fifth one, what it does is they all turn on, this passes, and then what this actually does is this one, oh no, that's a set block command. This one spawns the giant, so summon giant, and then the coordinates of the middle block, which was where the dark blue one is. And then these other ones, um, they're set block commands, for the same five coordinates, for zero. So what these five do, they're all the same. They pretty much just delete the blocks there. So it's a really simple design. Again, I'm sure some people have used it before, or some people have done it before, but it's a pretty cool idea. Definitely um, definitely can use it in some like adventure maps or something. And it's it's cool that we can spawn giants as well. Oh man, this this snapshot, well these this 1.7 as a whole, great update. It's going to be good. Sorry for the short video, but it's just a quickie, so I don't really want to ramble on for too long, so I'll see you in the next video, guys.